Hi, I'm Katie Hacker, and what's a party without decorations? Our party chandelier comes in every color, and whether it's birthday or just outdoor fun, this chandelier looks great. So the first few things that we're going to need are a wire wreath form, and also some chenille stems that will attach. You also need some decorative mesh, some ribbon, and your basic supplies like scissors and a ruler that we use for a lot of our projects. So to get started, we'll start adding the chenille stems to the wreath form. And what you do is cut your stem in half. And you want to choose stems that are the same color as the mesh that you're using, which you could choose to match your room or your decor. So what you'll do is wrap your stem around two wires on the wreath form. And you want to just do this evenly spaced all the way around the wreath. And alternate from the inside to the outside of the wreath and attach these onto your wreath form. That way we'll be able to hold everything in place. So this is how you attach. And then to get started, what you'll do is take your decorative mesh and lay it inside the chenille stem. So you can see here, I already started attaching these to each stem. What you do is take your two pieces of mesh and lay them on top of each other. And you'll want about 10 inches. So I'll just sort of measure it here against the base of my ruler and bunch that up at the 10 inch mark. And then you'll just place that into your stem and take the ends of the stem and wrap it around over the top of your mesh like this. And then just twist them together to hold that in place. So you can see here's the place where I started. Now to finish it, what you'll do is take your next 10 inches again gathering that together, but this time you want to twist it. See how the orange was on top before? Now I want to flip it over so the yellow is on top. And I'm going to place that one inside my stem. And we'll twist those together. And then we'll bring this end together here with one more chenille stem. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my mesh here. And then we'll be able to hide our ends inside against the wreath form. So we'll just tack this one down by fastening these together here at the end. Then we're going to take our poofs and kind of manage them, massage them, wiggle them around so that they cover the end and also so that they start to fluff up. And you can bring out your two different colors. So by pulling the loops apart, you see you get a lot more color there around the edge of your wreath. You want to do this all the way around by separating that mesh. You can get really good texture and a lot of height on your wreath. Okay, now if you wanted to go back and add some more, you could sure lay in some more strands into in between each of these. But what we'll do now to decorate is add some ribbon. So to make a decoration for the bottom, you can just take lots of different lengths of coordinating colors of ribbon, flip your wreath over, and then tie knots all along the in inner part of the wreath. And there are two ways to tie knots. This, you can do this type where it's like a square knot where you tie it around and then around again. Or you can do a, another type of knot. This one's called a lark's head. And what you do is take your ribbon, fold it in half, bring it through the wreath form, bring your ends through the loop and pull it tight. And you just want to add ribbons all the way around your wreath, whichever way you choose to attach them. And then trim the ends so that they are on the diagonal. See how these are straight? It just gives it a little bit more of a decorative look if you take your scissors and make an angular cut across the end. So I'd go ahead and add a bunch of different ribbons all the way around. And this would be another way that you could personalize it. You could write little messages on your ribbon using a permanent marker. You could write things like happy birthday or the person's name. If you're gonna hang this outside, you could write your wish for the day. Then when you're ready to make a hanger, turn it back over to the top and take your ribbons and cut four that are about the same length. Okay, so I chose some thinner ribbon here. Now these I'm going to tie to the back of the wreath and this is going to be your hanger. 
So you could, if you're hanging this outside, you could attach a little bit of glue to your knots if you are worried about it. And make sure that you tie them evenly spaced around the back of the wreath so that your hanger will be nice and even when you're hanging it up. So we'll tie another knot. And this is a great project to do with a friend because you could get somebody to help you fluff up these mesh sections while you're tying these on. And I love the idea of making this in your favorite colors to hang in your room after the party. So let's do one more. Or you could even do three as long as they're evenly spaced around the back of the wreath. So three or four. Then take them up to the top and tie them in an overhand knot. Now the last thing you want to be sure to do is bring all of your decorative ribbons to the bottom of the wreath and push them through just like that. So you have a really pretty decoration for your party.